Hi everyone, here's a new one on Windows 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download Windows 10 from Microsoft website and how you can do it with a free download manager. That is if your internet speed is slow. And also, we are going to create a bootable setup disk with this downloaded file. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified each time I release useful videos like this on tech tips, solutions and tutorials. Here are the tools that you need before you start this process. You need a download manager software. This will enable you to pause and resume the download. That is if your internet is slow and you want to pause and resume it. An internet connection for connecting to a Microsoft website. A software called Rufus. We will use this, this software to create a bootable Windows 10 setup drive and a USB flash drive. So without saying much, let's get started. To start, you will head straight to Windows 10 download page on Microsoft website. So to do this, go to Google, search for Windows 10 download. Click on the first link on the result page. This will take you to Windows 10 download page. So to update your Windows, you will click the update now button. But we are not doing that for now. So instead, we want to download the image or ISO file of the Windows 10. If you are using Firefox, press Ctrl, Shift and M keys together. This will enable the responsive design mode. If you are using Chrome, you press Ctrl, Shift and I. That will enable the developer tools. So when you are on the responsive mode, refresh the page. The page will now display in its mobile version. So when this display is on mobile version, exceed the responsive design mode if you are in Firefox by pressing Ctrl Shift M again. On Chrome, you press Ctrl Shift I, so it will display on the normal desktop mode. So then scroll down and select the preferred edition. Confirm. Select the product language. Confirm again. Then after that, two buttons will appear, one for the 64-bit download while the other for the 32-bit download. In my case, I will be downloading the 64-bit ISO file. So instead of clicking on the button, I will right-click the button and then click on Copy Link Location. We know that Windows 10 file is about 5.1 GB. And with a slow and unstable internet connection, it might take forever to download a 5.1 gig gigabyte file. But with the download manager, whenever there is a disconnect, the download manager will automatically resume your download when the internet is available again. So you can check out the link to the free download manager page in the comment section. Open the free download manager. Click on the plus button at the upper left. This will display the URL of the Windows 10 ISO file. Click OK. This will show you where to save the Windows 10 ISO file on your system. Then click download to start downloading. This might take a couple of minutes or hours depending on your internet speed. I will fast forward this section. After the download is done, Click on the folder icon beside the download file icon to verify the download location. Now to create a bootable Windows 10 setup USB drive, insert your USB flash drive. For this process, you need a 8GB USB drive or higher. Open the Rufus app. You can check the Rufus download page link in the comment section. So inside the Rufus app, on the device section, you select the drive that you want to use. In my own case, I've inserted a, a USB flash drive with 8 gig capacity. In the boot selection, you select the Windows 10 ISO file that we have downloaded. Then in the partition scheme, we have the GPT and MBR. You can choose any of them, but I would prefer the MBR for this. 
then the volume label you can change the volume label for the usb drive or you can still leave the default after this you can now click the start button for the process of creating the bootable disk to start a warning will appear letting you to know that all data on device will be destroyed to continue with this operation click ok so you can go ahead and click ok this process also will take some minutes to finish but it all depends on the speed of your usb drive and also the speed of your computer so i will fast forward this section as well so when this process is done you can now click the close button also you can check out the content of the usb flash drive that you have converted to a windows 10 setup then right there you can see the setup file then double click it so if the windows 10 setup starts that means the process was successful so with this usb flash drive that you have created you can use it to boot up your system to start a clean installation of windows 10 so that's it if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video to your friends and colleagues and if you have not yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe and and to also turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified each time I release useful videos like this. If you have any question or comment, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.